Working with color in source code has never been an easy task. When in code, you never get a clear representation of what the color looks like, only names and numbers, and it's only when you run your app that you get to see the true color. And if you have a color in another program like a paint editor or HTML source file, bringing that color into the code is also challenging. In this video, I'll show you some features in Code Rush that make working with color a breeze. We'll start by talking about color templates. And the keys to remember here are CL for color. For example, here in the code, if I want to create a method that returns a color, I'll type MCL and then hit the space bar and we'll have a method that returns a color. If we want to create a property of type color, just type PCL space bar and there's our property. Let's call it favorite color, for example. And if we want to create a variable of type color, just type VCL space bar and we'll call this next color. To initialize this color or pass in a color reference, just type in CL spacebar and then select a color from the window here. We'll start with cornflower blue, and I can select crimson, or I can select dark blue. Now notice each time I change this, the color swatch to the left updates to show what color I'm looking at. Here's dark goldenrod, for example. So that color swatch right here updates and changes depending on what the color is over here, which is pretty cool. So using the CL templates, I can declare colors, I can declare methods of type color, and I can declare properties of type color. I can also get color references like we just saw here when I typed in CL and the spacebar to get a particular color reference. Also, you can see the swatches, the color swatches in the code show me what the color looks like, which is nice. The other thing I can do is I can take color from an HTML source file, just select the color and copy it, and then come over into Visual Studio, and there's the paste, and you can see the color swatch updates. What's cool about this is what's on the clipboard was this, and when the intelligence paste came in, it turned it into a from RGB call. This is a very easy way to go from colors in a paint program, for example, that gives you an HTML value or HTML source code and pasting the color into source code. So now that we have the color swatch, if we want to change that color, we can click on that and up comes the Code Rush color window. The picker page consists of a grid and a gradient here. Here you can see I've got hue in the gradient here and the grid is showing me brightness and saturation. So I can increase brightness or increase saturation and select any color within the grid. If I want to isolate instead of having QB here, I want to have saturation, I can do that. Just click the saturation and now saturation is isolated on the vertical bar and brightness and hue are showing up on the grid. What's nice about isolation is it allows me to adjust to just a single value running it through the scale with just a mouse there. Or using the keyboard, I can use the up and down arrow keys to move it as well. What's nice about it is it allows me to isolate that one particular value so I can make modifications to it without adjusting the other two values. So saturation and hue are remaining static while I adjust only brightness. Similarly, I can isolate red, green, and blue. So I can take all the blue out of there. Let's isolate green, take all the green out of there. So now we're just dealing with red, for example. I can also take a color and make it web safe by clicking this button and it takes it to the nearest web safe color. I can also use the eyedropper. Click on this and go find a color that's interesting to me. Let's take that blue right there and now I've got that blue. And let's go back up here to hue because this is the way I like to look at it with hue, saturation, brightness so we can click OK. When we click OK, it'll change the code in the background, and there the color swatch is updated to that lighter shade of blue. So we'll do that one more time so you can see that. Let's make this a little more saturated. Click OK, and there you can see the update to the swatch right there. Nice way to change colors. I can also specify a web safe color just by typing this in. For example, I can type in FF00 and 33. Let's change that a little bit so we can play with it. So I can type in the values here. 
I can also use a shorthand notation if I'm specifying a web safe color. All I need are three digits. For example, I can type in 369 and that'll turn it into a web safe color. It's turning that into 336699 easy. On the opacity scale, I can adjust that up and down so you can see completely transparent or completely opaque and the sample down here updates to show you that. So if I select that and click OK, you can see the code is updated accordingly again. So again, an easy way to change colors in the source code. On the web page, I can choose any of the web safe colors here. Click on any of those. There's a preview here that shows me what those colors look like, what its hue, saturation, and brightness are. On the name color page, I can select any of the name colors. By the way, I can sort by the lightness, hue, saturation, and also the name. On the system page, I can select system colors, and on the document page, I can select any colors that are already in the document. So here's that color that we just created. That's right there in the background. It's showing up there. So this is nice if you need a color from the document, but it's somewhere else and the file's big and you want to grab it. By the way, this works in CSS files, C sharp files, VB files, XAML files, and HTML files. On the favorites page, we've got favorite colors that you can add here and favorite colors are stored in palettes. Right now, I only have one palette called my faves. Let's create a new palette by clicking this button right here. And there are no colors here yet, so I can rename this new palette by simply typing in the new name in the combo box right here. So let's call it VS Colors. And let's go to the picker and let's grab a color from Visual Studio. Let's grab this background and click this button to add that color to the favorites. Notice when I click the favorites button, it turns into a back button. So I can click it again to get right back to that page I was at. Let's grab another color from Visual Studio. Let's come up here and grab this blue right here and let's add that as a favorite. So now we've got two in the favorites. Let's come back again and now let's right click here, choose add color distribution and let's grab these 21 colors. And now we've added a variation of that particular hue in the center and we've added 21 colors all in the same hue, just adjusting the brightness all up and down, which is nice if you wanna create a palette very quickly. So there's VS Colors, and the other one was My Faves that was already in there, and simply just click the color you want, and again, the color is updated. So, those are some of the features in Code Rush that make it easy to work with color. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.